hi guys welcome back to our youtube channel so today we bring to you just on ogogo omokulodo who just backed a chieftaincy title called otsumayegun of ilaro yes so this is ogogo adding to the achievements that he already had to his instagram page to share this wonderful news with his loved ones his fans his followers on social media instagram to be specific where he decided to show us that cap the chief thing C cap written on it is autumn Mayego. He shared with us other outfits, its beads, its shoe, its wristwatches, and of course, he added a caption saying, and I quote, It's never about how it begins but how it ends. My gratitude to all the backbone who see it fit to always be reliant to my king Ki Adepelori. To my clan, I remain forever grateful. And quote, this was Taiwo Azan, aka Ogogomo Kulodo, appreciating those that love him, those that stood by him, those who made this possible and this too come to life. And most importantly, today is the coronation day. Gogo promised that it's going to be fun filled and amazing. And yes, the updates would be on his YouTube TV, Ogogo TV. Well, as expected, his fans, his followers, and loved ones have tripped to the comment section to wish him nothing but good tidings and congratulations we're flying in left to right and center praying for him that oh yeah i'm maori calling that a few weeks ago ogogo decided to share the wonderful news of his real estate which he said it is not just a big deal but something that he has been nurturing for a very very long time yes he's working massively as he considers this a dream come true he took to his instagram page to share a flyer and in the flyer it says and i read ogogo estates estate for the masses watch out ogogo estate packaged by al azan babatunde taiwo sweet estate it shocked you right well it shocked me too he added a caption to this saying it might seem a big deal to many but to me it's been an idea i have nurtured for years real estate a big part of me i've always wanted to give quality safe and best housing to my fans and beyond it's so close at actualizing this my real estate adventure and business braised up as i present to you ogogo estate a dream home for us all end quote this is huge this is massive it is good and is marvelous in our sight taiwo has done wisdom for his delectable acting shocks a lot of fans followers and uh, colleagues in the nollywood industry well most of them took to the comment section appreciated Thank God and congratulated him in great numbers. Likes of Wumitorio La, Mustafa Otrilagbadi, Jide Awubono, Ibrahim Chata, Kemi Koredi, to mention but a few, all tripped in and congratulated him in the comment section. Due to the fact that a lot of followers and fans have followed their loved ones, their favorite, to purchase a particular land for a particular brand, some people still frowned at this idea, saying that, hmm hope this is not going to be another set of scam as a lot of fans and followers have bought a land or invested in real estate one way or the other through the publication of their favorite ogogo is a respectable man in the society he doesn't just do it in the make-believe world he portrays his god-fearing attitude and respectable attitude in real life as well so with this attitude put together ogogo should be able to sell a safe home for everyone as he has proposed there is no success story without some failures behind it the family of kulodo have had one or two ups and downs over the years and this was when taiwo azan was sick for almost eight years these times were hard times for the family of kulodo as kira taiwo herself explained in an interview with the punch saying that the worst time of her life and for the family was when her father was sick a lot of people said terrible terrible things about him saying that her father was a drug peddler but then she knew that that was not true and in fact some of her schoolmates then made jest over about this it was painful and it was one of the hardest time 
for the family. Ogogo himself also went ahead to explain his ordeal and what he went through at that time in an interview as well. Going down memory lane, let's start with Kira Taiwo when she was explaining in an interview with The Punch as she was asked several questions about her family and these are some of the things that she had to say when she was asked that how was it for them and what was the hardest time for their family. She said in her words and I quote, that was the period my father was sick. It was a very tough time for the whole family. The children were not spared from the troubles and all that came with the sickness. The emotional and psychological trauma it gave us his children cannot be quantified. In my school then, my classmates and other students would come to me and tell me to my face that my father was a drug dealer. They told me how disappointed they were that my father was a cocaine pusher. I cried a lot of times and it really crushed my self-esteem. It was even worse to see my father take pap, a core and water for three years. It was really a difficult thing for us as a family. And when she spoke further on what the nature of the sickness was, she said and I quote, He had appendix and chronic ulcer, but we thank God that he survived the surgery and he's back to his normal healthy self. It was really pathetic for the family. This was Kira Taibo, the daughter of Ogogowu strikes a resemblance with her father. She's also an actress, a skit maker, a content creator, and an entrepreneur. Sickness was part of what affected Ogogo's career as well. But then, hearing from the horse's mouth, he said it himself that in 2004 to 2014, this was when the sickness started. He said, and I quote, the sickness started from 2004 to 2012 before I started recovering in 2013. I only hear of Osa, but I have never experienced it. I woke up that day, dressed up for the job I had at Ipaja. It was Arakangudu's job. It was during the Ramadan season, and that day was day four of the fasting. I don't normally take so the early morning meal that Muslims take during Ramadan. Once you give me a cup of tea, I am okay. Even when I want to break the fast, I don't normally eat much. In the family I come from, it's compulsory for everyone to fast. If you don't, you are in trouble. So we left for the location, but along the line, I just noticed before we got to Ikeja that I wasn't feeling comfortable. I started feeling strange, feeling sharp pain in my abdomen. I felt so uncomfortable and I was the one driving. Shina Bankale used to be a nice guy to me as he used to follow me everywhere he's with the marketers. He asked what was wrong but I couldn't explain. I managed myself to that location but on getting there I couldn't do anything. Remy Sorotu was on that location. After a while, she noticed the way I was behaving and she asked, Egbomi, Eduru, Sheki, Sheosa, Ni, Konton, Sheinji, literally meaning, I hope this is not an ulcer. I said it's not possible. She called Shino and asked him to get me milk and cold water. At first, I was scared when it dawned on and that I was going to break my fast, but immediately they mixed the milk and water and I drank it. I asked her what next. She said I would need to see the doctor because she was very sure it's ulcer. I just managed myself on that location that day. Out of 11 things I was supposed to do, I did 7. The producer of the job, Ara Kongdu, wasn't around that day. He didn't know what was happening. To cut this long story short, I couldn't go back to complete the job. I met with the doctor that following day, had this scan and he explained the result to me. He showed me many affected parts in my stomach. That was how the whole saga started and could but today we thank god for the health of ogogo as he will be celebrating 62 this year once again it's very interesting to know that ogogo is one of the surviving twin of the four twin that his mother ever had so indeed it is a great testimony and we pray that this last long we look forward to seeing ogogo's estate and we say a very big congratulations to him and his family as become a two of ilaro well guys there you have it do not forget to like subscribe drop a comment in the comment section below thank you bye